Welcome to CNB. I am Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. It's week two of the Auto Expo. Yes, we are back at the India Expo Mart in Greater Noida. Let's dive straight into it because there's so much still to take you through. It's a big deal for all of us when the Auto Expo rolls into town and this year was no different. Yes, there were fewer participants but that in no way dampened the spirit of the auto industry. The ones present pulled out all the stops to show off their products and this included the ones coming very soon. Then again, it was not all about the products, was it? It was also about how they were presented and the design of the pavilions played a major role in letting the manufacturers speak to the consumers. While we liked the interactivity at Hyundai, the simplicity and product focus at Renault and the attention to upcoming products at Kia, here are our top five picks amongst all the pavilions and yes, we also considered the few two-wheeler guys present. At number 5 is the new entrant Great Wall Motors. The company is yet to kickstart operations in India but its pavilion was all about showing off its wide range of SUVs under the Havel brand and its electric car brand. There were two concepts, one the Concept H making its global debut at Delhi and the rest of the pavilion showcased the product and technology prowess of the company. The big focus on safety was not lost on us. At number 4 is Piaggio. Piaggio India had one of the best laid out pavilions at the event, showcasing the company's Aprilia and Moto Guzzi premium bikes, the new BS6 range of Aprilia scooters, as well as the 2020 facelift models of the Vespa range of scooters. The showstopper at the Piaggio India pavilion? No doubt about it, the all new Aprilia SXR 160. To add to the excitement at the Piaggio pavilion was the Vespa Electrica the electric Vespa scooter that is already on sale in Europe and there will be an all-new electric scooter coming from the company for India very soon. Bringing in some youthful exuberance was a car maker that missed out at the expo the last time around but now makes a strong comeback with a brand new strategy. At number 3 we have Volkswagen. The pavilion was very colourful, young and vibrant and altogether different from the past. There were three SUVs on display, all of which will be launched in India very soon. The T-Roc, Tiguan Allspace and the Tigon Compact SUV. The company showcased its TSI technology, giving the consumer a glimpse of both the 1.0-litre and 1.5-litre engine and then there was the TCO Booth 2, which engaged with customers by telling them about the total cost of ownership of a VW car. It was this engagement that brought many a visitor to the VW stand. Another way to bring people to your pavilion is to make it comprehensive by showing off a lot of concepts and production cars and also making it interesting and interactive. Tata Motors bags the second spot for doing exactly that. There were electric cars, its BS6 fleet and even the commercial vehicles which have undergone a significant design and engineering upgrade. But the main attraction were the concepts and who can forget the Sierra concept or even the HBX. Connecting customers to its EV offering, the Nexon, Tata Motors made the provision of letting people take a ride in the Nexon EV. And yes, this ride provided a clear view of the Tata Pavilion from up above. But there was one car maker which took the cherry on top of the cake and that was MG Motor India. 
The MG Motor India Pavilion had the quintessential British feel with brick walls, a London-esque set design and typical British touches like black coloured benches, red telephone booths, a big Ben and an MG cafe as well. Throw in the graffiti walls and there was a lot of colour and many individual design elements that stood out. Along with the design, the fact that MG Motor had divided its pavilion into eight zones which included a special EV zone made it a well-planned affair. It showcased the brand's journey over the last 94 years and gave us a glimpse of the past, the present and the future too. A big attraction was the MG Vision Eye concept. It is the world's first ever car to have a 5G smart cockpit. The Marvel X shows off autonomous tech and yes, the brand also debuted the Hector Plus and the Gloucester for the Indian market. MG had cars for every segment, hatchback, MPV, SUV, electric, you name it. And it was all to show the broad spectrum it operates in. It was a very tame affair as far as two-wheelers were concerned at Auto Expo 2020, with many two-wheeler manufacturers giving the biennial event a miss. Nonetheless, here is a look at the best two-wheelers of the 2020 Auto Expo. EV India, a new electric two-wheeler startup, showcased the Forsetti electric scooter, a retro-styled electric scooter at the Expo. It is positioned as a premium model in the company's portfolio and comes equipped with a hub-mounted motor from Bosch and swappable lithium-ion batteries. It can be charged in just 3-4 to four hours with a fast charger and has a claimed range of 100 km. Top speed is claimed at between 60-70 to 70 km per hour. The Forsetti will be priced under 1 lakh rupees and full specifications will be revealed at the time of the launch, expected sometime in June. It will come with a 5-year warranty including a 3-year unlimited warranty on the battery. The Everve EF1 electric scooter was unveiled at the Auto Expo 2 with radical design but impressive specifications. Built by a Pune-based company, the Everve EF1 has a bulky body which commands attention and it does seem to pack some performance to complement its quirky design. Two detachable lithium-ion battery packs of 4.2 kWh powers the electric motor which puts out 3.3 kWh of power with a claimed top speed of 100 km per hour. Range on a single charge is claimed at 110 km and a fast charger is said to juice up the batteries to 50% in just one and a half hours. In slow charging, the batteries can be charged in five hours. Premium hardware on the EF1 includes upside down forks, preload adjustable dual shocks at the rear, disc brakes on both wheels and fat 120 section tires. A 7-inch TFT display screen will offer a wide range of information including navigation, vehicle telemetry and over-the-air updates and other vehicle diagnostics. Prices are expected to be under 2 lakh rupees with a launch expected sometime by early next year. Hero Electric showcased its new range of products including a new electric motorcycle at the Auto Expo. The AE47 is the first electric motorcycle from Hero Electric and has been showcased as a premium product from the homegrown electric vehicle manufacturer. The AE47, however, sources components and even the design from overseas partners. The Hero Electric AE47 is powered by a 4000 watt electric motor with a claimed top speed of over 85 km per hour. It has a lightweight portable lithium ion battery and can be charged in 4 hours. The AE47 gets two modes. In power mode, range is claimed to be 85 km on a single charge, while in eco mode, the estimated range is 160 km on a single charge. One of the two-wheeler highlights at the Expo was the Aprilia SXR160 revealed at the Piaggio Pavilion. The Aprilia SXR160 is a new motor scooter which has been described as a Crossmax with the design of a maxi scooter but with the compact size and agility of a normal scooter. It will be launched in India in the third quarter of 2020. 
The Aprilia team spent two years in designing and developing the SXR motor scooter in Italy and it has been made especially for the Indian market. The SXR160 gets the same 160cc three-valve engine from the Aprilia SR160 which makes 10.8 bhp and is paired to CVT gearbox. Aprilia will launch the SXR in a 125cc variant as well which will get the SR125's engine as is. Perhaps the only attractive big bike at the expo this year was at the Suzuki Pavilion. Suzuki India unveiled the all-new Katana Sport Touring Motorcycle based on the Suzuki GSX S1000F but with a name taken from Suzuki's past from the 1980s. The new Suzuki Katana is powered by the same 999cc inline four-cylinder engine of the GSX S1000F which pumps out 147 bhp of maximum power at 10,000 rpm and 105 nm of peak torque at 9,500 rpm. For now, the Katana has been showcased to gauge audience reaction. If there is considerable consumer interest, Suzuki India may consider launching the Katana later this year in India, not as a fully imported, completely built unit, but assembled in India from completely knocked down kits to keep prices competitive. While the 2020 edition of the Auto Expo was not as big as before, it still threw up some cool concepts which shows the continuing importance of India for the global manufacturers. These are the top 5 concepts that excited us the most. In 5th place, we have Maruti Suzuki's Futuro e-concept coupe SUV. In terms of size, it fits into the Creta segment where Maruti has no product. But while we don't expect a coupe SUV to come in there necessarily, what we do expect is this kind of styling on future Maruti SUV models. There will be both combustion and electric iterations likely. So expect the BS6 compliant 1.5 litre petrol mild hybrid engine, but no word on diesel. Will it go into production? Typically, Maruti shows a concept at one expo and brings it to market by the next. So maybe a 2022 model year car is coming. Now some may mistake the Funster to be just a gimmicky showpiece at Mahindra's pavilion, but there is a reason why it has made it to this list. Besides being an electric concept, the Funster also previews design cues of the next generation XUV500, which is expected to launch later this year. That explains why the open top car has such a butch face, a tall front bumper and muscular fenders. The sleek LED lighting is another clue to the modern look that Mahindra will be going for. The concept also gets inlit vertical slats, an illuminated Mahindra logo, a new inverted L-shaped headlamp and fog lamp cluster with LED light strips. Power comes via a 60 kWh battery and four electric motors, one for each wheel. The combined power output is 312 bhp and the electric car can clock triple digit speeds in just five seconds according to the company. At number 3 we have a tie. The Havel Concept H and the Kia Sonnet are both concepts, will both go into production and will both be global models yet have India as their lead market. The Concept H is likely to emerge as Great Wall's second model for India under the Havel brand. The compact SUV will likely play in the same size range as the MG Hector or Tata Harrier but take on the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos as immediate rivals. Havel's H-Series used to always lean towards being squarish, typical SUVs, but the new generations are expected to include some crossover cues. The Concept H is a definite nod to that, isn't it? For Kia, the Sonnet has great significance, foraying into the subcompact SUV segment and taking on some well-established products in our market. The Sonnet is also quite a looker and boasts Kia's new design language, sporting a bigger tiger nose grille, sharp headlamps with DRLs and neat sculpting on its face and side flanks. 
It also took the most coveted Best of Show trophy at our Auto Expo Excellence Awards. It will share its underpinnings and drive trains with the Hyundai venue. In second place, we have the biggest surprise of Auto Expo 2020. The Tata Sierra concept is an all-electric compact SUV that pays homage to the legendary Tata Sierra, the company's first real SUV-like vehicle that was very popular in the 1990s. It's been underpinned by the Alpha Arc platform and is a more squarish interpretation of Tata Motors' Impact 2.0 design language. The face is muscular, while the square wheel arches and overall proportions are more straight. The big wraparound glass roof towards the rear is the key design element that will remind you of the earlier Sierra. The single seamless LED tail lamp unit is a modern touch for sure. The concept also took home the best design award from us at the CNB Auto Expo Excellence Awards. Uh, best design and uh, quite the competition, I'm sure you'll agree, it's the Tata Sierra. And first place goes to the much-talked-about Škoda Vision IN concept. The global debut from Škoda is important, as the car that follows will be crucial to its India 2.0 strategy. But that car will also be a global model. Škoda does not have a model at this end of the compact SUV market, and so the Vision IN coming to the Delhi Expo has international relevance. The car shows off a new-age Škoda design language, sporting the white family grille flanked by sleek LED headlamps. The split fog lamp setup, tall bumper, black cladding, chunky silver skid plate and 19-inch alloy wheels give it quite the stance. The 4256mm profile is aesthetically enhanced by a sharp shoulder line. The tail lamps get the typical crystalline elements seen in modern Škoda models and the sculpting on the boot gate makes the rear look taut. The cabin makes proper use of the 2671mm wheelbase and is finished with vegan materials and also throws in the traditional Indian art of kalamkari on its dash. It also features a 12.3-inch freestanding touchscreen display along with the customizable virtual cockpit and the gear lever features Bohemian Crystal. Expect the production car at the start of 2021. Under its hood will be an option of a 1.5-litre or 1.0 TSI petrol motor. Gearbox options will include a 7-speed DSG or a 6-speed manual and automatic. Yes, all of this will be shared with its sister car, the Volkswagen Tiguan Compact SUV. So that's it on this week's CNB. Plenty at the Auto Expo that came your way. And you know what? A lot of that's going to unfold over the next few months because, well, market launches are still far away. But maybe there's something that intrigued you, attracted you, or got you excited. Maybe there's stuff you didn't like. Please react to all of it. Share it with me. And remember that all the details of all these stories, all the launches, all the unveils on carandbike.com. So you know where to go for all of that or on our YouTube channel as well. There's plenty there. So please react to all of that. And please wear your seatbelts. Please wear your helmets. Please join us next week. Bye-bye.